Okay, welcome to your next video on application. In this video, we're going to be setting up a man app control channel. So, what a man app is used for is for mapping product control for a non smart implement. So, for instance, if we wanted to map a ground drive seed drill and we wanted to map the product coming out of that implement, for instance, or Maybe if we've got a customer that wants to generate a coverage map when they are doing tillage, pulling a tillage implement, we would want to create a man app. So we're going to cover how that is done in this video. First thing I need to do is I need to go to performance and the profile tab and I need to select my grower farm field. So I've done that. And then our next step, we're going to go to Toolbox, and then we're going to go to the Manual tab. And then our Control Channels, we have several to choose from. We can edit these if we wanted to change the name. I'm just going to leave this as a Man App 1. We're going to configure our product form. In this case, I'm just going to select a liquid product. We're going to use an example of pulling a tillage tool that we want to map with. And just for simplicity's sake, for tillage operations, I always just choose a liquid product form. You could use other as well, but I always just use liquid. And then I'm going to put in my number of sections. For a tillage implement, we're just going to have one section. And then we need to configure a implement width. So we're just going to say that this is 360 inches wide. And then the forward and right offsets are if we want to map the implement fore or aft of the vehicle. So a negative forward offset would mean that the implement is behind me. So for instance, if I were to put a negative 120 inch forward offset, that would mean that the implement is going to map 120 inches or 10 feet behind me. And then the right offsets are used if the implement is offset of my tractor or vehicle left or right. So a negative offset, negative value would offset the application to the left, and a positive value would offset it to the right. So once we've configured our man app, now we need to go to toolbox product. So we go to the product tab, and then we need to create a product. So for tillage, we are simply just wanting to generate a map or paint a coverage map, right? So what I always do for tillage is I just create a new product and I call it paint. You can call it whatever you want, but we're just going to, in this example, say paint. I'm going to choose my liquid product form, and then I have to give it an application rate. So I'll just put one gallon per acre. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go to the home screen. We need to go to work condition. And we need to create a work condition in order to map this product. So I'm going to create a new work condition. And I'm going to call it plow. Let's say for our tillage tool, we're pulling a plow. And then I need to choose a control channel to the layer. So I'm going to choose my man app. Since I've configured a man app, that becomes selectable here. So we're going to choose that, and then I also have to choose a product to map. So I'm going to select paint for my product. And then we also need to go to configure and implement. So I'm going to go to toolbox, implement, and let's create our implement. And again, we'll just call this plow, since that's what we're pulling in this example our implement width, we can leave at 360 inches. Bar distance is the distance from the fixed axle 
to the implement. So you can configure that if you like. And then there's also the left right offset as well. Okay. And then depending on the software, whether we've got, you know, large tractor, medium tractor, generic tractor, in this case we've got generic tractor, so it's not configurable, but we'd have the ability to choose whether it's an EHR or a hitch implement. So that way we can use the vehicle's EHR switches or the three point hitch to help the display indicate whether the implement is in the ground and the display needs to be in a work status and actually painting. But in this case, because this is a simulator, we're running generic tractor, so we do not have that option. But again, we could trigger coverage mapping using that type of work control switch, using our EHR or our hitch. Okay, so now that we've got that all set up, let's go ahead and start moving our machine. So I'll go to a run screen. You see I have some speed. My machine is moving across the field. I'm going to go to my run two where I have a work control switch. This is off currently. For a smart implement, this is automatically changed into an off or on state based on whether the implement is in work or not. But since we are using a man app, we do not have a smart implement. We have to configure this manually. So I'm going to turn this on and we'll go back to our run four and you will see that now we are applying product or we're painting coverage I should say. A smart implement, this would be a product situation but since we've got a plow and this is not a smart implement we're just making a coverage map, right? We've created basically a dummy control channel. And again had I had a large tractor or medium tractor software, I could choose EHR, you know, any one of my EHRs or my hitch to change this status into work or not work, which would automatically change this work control on or off for me using that switch in the cab. However, since I'm using generic tractor, I have to use this work control switch. So again, change this to off, and now we're no longer applying product. And that is how you set up a man app control channel.